Welcome back to the Student Arts Network. This is Ryan here. Today, I have a short video for you going to talk about life between undergraduate and pharmacy school. This video is helped by one of our producers, Jenny, and her advice in terms of what kind of things that you should expect when you go into pharmacy school. I know now it's around the season where um, people from undergrad are about to graduate and they are looking forward to their pharmacy school journey. So I hope this video will provide a good, helpful, and informational um, source for you to go through and get ready for pharmacy school. Point number one. Uh, in pharmacy school, organization positions that you can apply as early as first few weeks of your P1 year. So it's funny that, you know, during your undergrad, uh, you will have, again, have the chance to join different organizations. And most likely, when you're your first year, you will still be just a member or you want to be as active as possible so that you'll be able to get a position next year. In pharmacy school, it's a little bit different. As uh, First of all, there is something called the class board where you'll be able to elect officials that represent your class as early on as like the first three weeks of school. Obviously, you will need to compete for spots uh, if you're looking for such leadership positions and you want to make sure yourself you're well prepared to represent the students if you were choose to run as a candidate. Also, obviously, there are organizational positions uh, such as, you know, P1 liaisons and other positions that you'll be able to gain experience as early on as your first year. Because you will be able to gain a high advantage because you will be able to have the first year experience. And if you want to apply to continue those positions uh, or different positions within the same or different organizations, you'll have something. You have the experience that you're required to do to continue to move on. I guess it is, you know, sort of weird because it might be hard for you to kind of convince people without having that much experience since you're still first year. But I, I think it is still a very great thing for you to try it out. Even, even if you end up didn't really enjoying it, it's still a good experience for you during your pharmacy school years. An additional note will be P1 uh, might be more competitive in terms of their positions than other years. And if you didn't get it, please don't be nervous or don't give up just yet because you will have more than enough time to get another chance in and get another shot into obtaining those positions. Second, rotations or IPs or APIs. Uh, you know, you're, in, during your undergrad, you won't be able to gain much exposure to different workspace within your major. Maybe you have a major such as like computer science where you are required to have an internship. But in rotations, it's different in pharmacy schools where you'll be able to have the experience to test out different pharmacy practice sites and helping to you to find what fits you the best. Depending on the program, most likely you'll be expected to be in pharmacy working experience right away. And for someone who is, again, freshly new to pharmacy or didn't have any previous pharmacy uh, experience prior to going to pharmacy school, at your first rotations, we recommend that make sure you communicate with your preceptors uh, just in terms of the details of anything, uh, you know, such as like clothing, shifts, or any specific rules that you should be aware of. You should also bring in a positive mindset and express to them that what you know or what you don't know. It is okay to tell them you know you don't know a certain thing, you know, you're there to learn. Sometimes they just assume you do know, but not all students have the same knowledge and experience working in pharmacy. And I think it is important to always reach out to your preceptors and making sure that you are on track um, in your rotation. Also, mentally prepared to learn, albeit the preceptors. Sometimes preceptors might have a different ways of teaching or if they maybe not care as much as you would like them to. Um, I think it is still important to carry a positive mindset and be ready to get the most out of your experience. Point number three, depending on the school, schedule will be drastically different from your undergraduate schedule. You know, in your undergraduate years, most likely you're going through classes such as like, you know, one Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just like an hour period or an hour or two, and then you go back to dorm or go back to where you live or you participate in different activities, right? 
in pharmacy school, most of the time, there is a full day 8 to 5 every day for most schools. Maybe there's a particular day off for you just for maybe for your due to get rested or for rotation purposes. Each year of your pharmacy school year might also be different as well. So just be prepared that um, to be able to switch and adapt to the system and schedule as much as possible. And hopefully you get the hang of it for the first few weeks. In addition to that, in your last year where you um, will be going on advanced rotations, APIs, you'll be have a way different schedule because you're not taking classes at that point. You're there to just for learn through experience and try to figure out what kind of field of pharmacy you want to do. So from there on, most likely you'll have a different schedule every section of the rotations. Point number four, block systems. For some specific schools, there is what is called the block system, where there will be one anatomical system every time where uh, they will basically cover all the, the from the basic science to the clinical work to future implications. So for mo some schools, this is actually serve as a better way for some of the students to learn where they will be able to master that particular uh, system uh, better instead of going through each subjects like, you know, pharmacology or pharmacotherapy or medicinal chemistry. And these systems have varying time spans depending how in-depth they cover. Some schools might cover cardio longer because, again, there's more medication to cover, there's more indications for it, or some schools might cover it differently, or some schools might ca um, cover it like in an average sense. So it really do depend on which school you go to. So the best way to prepare for this is actually to understand what the block system is. And hopefully by the time you'll be able to grasp the revision style um, of the block system to help you go through tests. Point number five, you'll be able to be close with your cohorts. In undergrad life, most likely your major has like, let's say 100 or 200 people or more than that because those are big universities and these universities have a big large class size for a particular major. In pharmacy school, it's a little bit different where you'll be able to have around, I would say as small as like 50 to 60 to around 100 or 100 ish people in your same class. And you'll be able to have a close con connection with them. And it's a very unique opportunity because you'll be able to get to know them more on a personal level and hopefully during your pharmacy journey, you guys will help each other on the way. An additional note to this is that you most likely, you'll be all taking the same classes together because it's just how the schedule is set up for each year. And at this point, I think it is great for you to be able to get involved in organizations with them and get to know them in class better so that maybe in the future, you'll be able to find them as a resource or some sort of connection in the field of pharmacy may be able to land your job in the future or may be able to help you go through residency or just a lifelong friend in general within pharmacy. So that's it. That's my top five points in terms of what I think the difference between undergrad and pharmacy school. Again, I would like to thank Jenny for the contribution of these topics and points for this video. Click the like if you enjoyed the video. Click subscribe if you like our content in general. Follow us on our social media and I'll see you next time.